So hey, how we doing? Well, we're out here in the garage today because uh, I think we're going to put off some funky smells. I don't want to expose my animals to that, so we're out here in the shop. I got some uh, safety stuff and a trash can and some more safety stuff, so we're going to try to be uh, safe about this and uh, etch, a, etch a logo and a stupid little saying and uh, maybe give these cups away. I got a couple of other YouTubers that's pretty cool. I've been talking to them here lately. I'll ship them one of these. I'll uh, show you some clips on how I even got this far, like weeding this, that means taking out everything that you want to see and even printing it out, or how I even came up with it, I don't know, I might be able to do something like that. Well, here we go, let's get this started. So I've done all the graphic design stuff here, um, I do everything in a 12 by 12 or a 12 by 24 on my vinyl. So here I am cutting out that 12 by 12. So after it's all pressed down, we'll uh, put it in my little silhouette that I got here and it'll go ahead and automatically cut out everything that I programmed. So what I'm doing here is uh, weeding. Um, taking out the unwanted vinyl to leave what I want it to say. As you see, I'm picking off the pieces of vinyl and instead of sticking them to everything, I just put them on different parts of my hand and peel them off later. They're kind of hard to get up off the floor and such. So after you finish weeding the vinyl, you'll need a transfer tape. Basically all transfer tape is is clear tape, it's kind of thick. It uh, helps you transfer your vinyl after you peel the backing off to whatever surface you're going to put it on. And now I'm pretty much just pushing out all the air bubbles. So with the transfer tape on and the air bubbles removed, I could peel the backing off of the vinyl and transfer the vinyl over to, in this case, a coffee cup. So I'm going to press all the air bubbles out once again, make sure it's adhered real well. And uh, at that point in time, I should be able to move on and all right, here's the deal. Uh, safety gloves, check. Eye stuff. Um, Hang on. Eye protection, check. Neutralizing agent, check. Um, trash can, stuff I'm going to dab it on with, old clothes. This is ready to go. The deal is I go through this four times. About every two minutes I reapply it. Four or five times, whatever I feel like. It's supposed to turn black. And, um, yeah, let's try it. Add a spell. A little baking soda to neutralize it. Oh, it fizzes and bubbles. Can you guys see that? Mm. 
It was a little light at the top and a little light over right there. So, yet another coat. Supposedly, this stuff turns like jet black. Get these gloves on, rub this cup down with this baking soda, get this acid neutralized, and then we'll go wash it off and see what we got going on. I could definitely see a difference. I don't think it's black, but it's definitely darker. So, we got some uh, dark stuff and some burnt stuff and some pretty cool looking stuff. And I think it turned out all right for what it is. And, um, <laughs> yeah, let me get this mess cleaned up and we'll peel some of this off and see what it looks like. So let's peel this away and see what it looks like. Oh. All right, change the plans. Let's bring these in the house where it's warm. I can run, under, run them under some warm water and get them going. Because <laughs> right now it's really brittle. So here we are a few days later and um, they kind of looks like it might have rusted. But I just ran it underneath some hot water and uh, we're going to peel this off and see what happens.